We are joined by Joseph Lankowski and Olivia Williams from Hilton Head Christian Academy to tell us about the much anticipated production of Guys and Dolls. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, thank you. Now tell us about the stories and characters of Guys and Dolls. Guys and Dolls follows the two romances between two couples in New York. Um, one of them is a relationship between Joey and myself, his character Nathan Detroit in Adelaide. Um, he's running a floating crap game in New York and she's upset about it and doesn't want that and they've been engaged for 14 years and that's kind of always been the big factor as to why they've never gotten married and then it also follows the story between Sky and Sarah Brown, Sky Masterson played by Henry Clark and Sarah Brown played by JC Robinson. JC's character, she plays a mission doll in New York. Um, so she's kind of like a Bible thumping kind of person and she never wants to get involved with a gambler because that's a sinner. So it follows their romance as well and it kind of all unravels from there. Now what do you think folks are going to enjoy the most about this production? Oh, this is this has got to be our highest quality production uh, by far. Um, I mean, the music is unreal. The choreography is fantastic. I mean, the, uh, honestly, like Mr. Barry put together an 18-piece orchestra, and it's going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. We've got little pieces, little teasers, and on stage, we're amazed by what he's putting on mm -hmm. in the pit. Um, we have so many to thank for our, uh, our choreography, which is... Patty um, Mauer. Patty, Patty Mauer Ma choreographed. Very good job. Um, yeah, Mr. Barry, James Barry is our music director. Also very good. Um, Miss McRoy has put a lot into it, a lot into it, and we're very grateful for all of them. Yeah, no, just to, to rat you guys out a little bit, your, your uh, acting teacher and teacher at, at Hilton Head Christian Academy is here, and she's telling them to sit up straight. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> <laughs> now, Joseph, given that this is your senior year, why is this special for you? Um, well, this year, um, Actually, it was like a, you know, either go with this or soccer, and hands down was this. This is like the big year, want the big part, um, you know, get to be up there on the, you know, big stage. You know, it's it was it was like the year, and what I enjoy most about this is kind of just um, I love being up there, and it's you're with such a great group of people, like just having fun, getting closer, like it's. Like any sports team, you're, you're making a bond with the people, but it's, you're spending so much time with them going through, you know, like memorizing lines, choreography, you know, maybe getting fussed at or, you know, all the jokes you make, messing around. Like it's, it's a, it's just a great, fun setting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What does it take, you touched on it a little bit, but what does it take to pull off a production of this magnitude? You have all the people who are pouring into it, like Miss McRoy, Michelle McRoy. Um, James Barry, Patty Mauer, Beth Corey, everyone who's our vocal coach, everyone who's pouring so much of their own time and that they could have been like over our winter break, we spent it rehearsing. Everyone would spend like every day at school rehearsing when they could have been on vacation. And so it's also the dedication of the students and the actors who are willing to put in the time has a major impact it on as well and the overall quality of the show. Time and stress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure, that's you know, it's it's all about the effort that you put into it. That's mm -hmm. what you get out of it. Indeed, it really. Indeed. Is. Now, Olivia, what's it like playing Adelaide? Um, when I first saw the character of Adelaide, I felt like I was completely opposite of her, and I actually originally wanted the role of Sarah. Um, but I was like, once I read the monologue for the first time and I started learning her songs, I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot not be this part. This part is amazing, and as I've gotten to play her, I get to do things that I wouldn't normally do in my day-to-day -day life and act and have certain mannerisms, and that was very fun, and it's very interesting, and it's just a great time playing her. And to totally morph into something mm -hmm. that's so different from your personal that's character. That's what makes acting fun. Indeed, indeed. And Joseph, what's it like being Nathan Detroit? Oh, well, he is a... It's just a fun character. He's kind of mischievous. You know, he's always kind of up to something, yet he still has the side to him that's soft, you know, for his doll. Um, he's always, you know, you know, getting fussed at or, um, you know, running his own game, trying to be a macho man, but he's still got that soft side that's, um, uh, that I like, you know, it's, he's a dynamic character. Indeed. Indeed. Now, the two of you um, break a leg on this. Thank this is you. fantastic. And the rest of the cast break a leg. The not to miss production of Guys and Dolls at Hilton Head Christian Academy. Thanks so much for yeah. being with us Thank today. Thank you for having Thank you. us.